How are you today? Okay, today we uh, turned off the gas at the meter and uh, get this water heater to fit. This is a 40 gallon tall and it's about 18 inches wide. And then we also have a pan we got to fit in here. So, the gas has to be moved. So, this one, originally the gas just came up just to feed the water heater and then 10-15 years ago when they put the heating unit in the attic they ran our riser in the attic but we don't have a union to take this all apart to move it. So, I have to cut the 90 or go up in the attic and I'm not going up in the attic and take everything apart. So we uh, cut this 90 in two and then take everything apart and then put the union in place once we put everything back together. Alright. So uh, that's what we're doing today. So uh, we'll continue here shortly. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good day. We need a new uh, flex connector to stop looks okay. Put a new flex connector on there also. Alright. So uh, we have this uh, cut in two. We'll uh, take our pipe ratchets and put back up, right, so we don't hurt anything here. And uh, take that piece off, unthread it, unthread that piece off, and then take all this apart up to the coupling up there and then we'll 90 over down in the corner in the back corner and then uh, we pipe back into here All right. and then we'll put a union uh, we'll put a drip leg here T and a, and a short nipple and a cap since this is a long run That'll make us all legal legal. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll continue here once we get this taken apart. Hey there, we're back. Alright, we've got this, um, we have this all taken apart. And, uh, gotten diagonally through the 90, you don't, very rare you hurt the threads unless somebody really buried the fitting all the way deep, right? All the way to the shoulder. And then, uh, here are the things. Cut fitting. And, uh, I'm going to throw that away. That's been chewed up more than I'd, that's been used a couple of times. And then always put a new flex connector with every new heater. Um, that's the general rule of one time use. And then here in the system they had what's called a thread protector using it as a coupling. And that's, that's not a real coupling. This is a real coupling. A real coupling has shoulders on it. Right? These these thread protectors, you can really egg them, right? You can, they can egg very easily. Even though they throw it on the pipe, you can egg it with a pipe wrench and it will leak. Whereas this here has, is less likely to egg. Alright, so that's the only thing I look out for with uh, couplings is they have these thread protectors that go on the end of the 21 foot lengths of black iron pipe or galvanized pipe. And uh, they are not a real coupling. Alright. And then thanks for watching and we'll continue once we uh, put some of this back together. I've got to drill a hole uh, in the corner there where I want to run my pipe and, uh, and get plumbed to it. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. What are you trying to get up? Well, the stuff in the way, you getting back inside because it's raining outside. Alright, come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Good girl. Come on up, let's go, come on, let's go. Good girl. Crazy. And then, uh, here's two more. Two more thread protectors that were on the water side. On top of the water here. See? These are not real couplings. Alright. That's all I want to say about that.